be I'm a violin boy. I'm a get it. I'm a violin boy. Not talking about violence, baby. Not talking about violence either. But I'm a violin boy. Keep on violin. Oh, baby boy, baby girl. Welcome back to the show. It's another Glad You Made It episode. It's a social production as per usual. Bringing the heat from Toronto. It's getting chilly, Willie, outside. Little by little. I think today's the last day that we're going to get a little bit of that nice warmer temperature and then we're going to head on to the weekend. Towards the weekend, it's going to get chilly, Willie. So bring out the parkas, bring out the scarves. It's going to get chilly out there. Stay warm. Stay warm, baby. That's what it is, man. I just ordered myself some fingerless gloves. You know? Put in an online order. That's what I do, like you guys. I go on the online, I put in an order. I ring it up. I'm like, Jeff, need some, need some fingerless gloves. It's Jeff is hard working back there, just like in the Amazons, right? Doing it. Medium to large size fingerless gloves. Order coming through. No relish. Extra cheese. Don't mess up the order. We don't have time to mess up orders here. Everything's on the conveyor belt. Get it going, Daddy. Let's go. I need my fingerless gloves. It took three to five days for... I don't even know. It wasn't even like it was... It was like five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks with taxes. I forget. Under ten bucks. Fingerless gloves, man. If you want to go full fingers, you might have to pay, you know... 10 bucks, but I'm the type that goes fingerless and you know, not that I'm trying to bring it back. It's already been brought back. Especially if you're in the Canada's, if it gets cold, baby, you know what it is, or any other part of the world where it gets cold. You gotta resort to wearing some mittens, some gloves. But the fingerless gloves, they're underrated, man, because they're practical. You can do a lot. You can still maneuver. You can still utilize them. Human tentacles, you know what I mean? Those you know, extremities, if they uh, if they get chilly willy, it's good to keep them warm, but you still want to be able to, you know, use your phone, you still want to be able to drive, you still want to be able to pick things up, pick things up, put things down, you know, move things. You want to, you know, a little bit of that, you know, you're wearing many layers. You got to sometimes things get untucked, you got to tuck them, you can't do it with a full fucking mitten there, you got to go fingerless, tuck it in there, underneath. Wife beaters, an extra layer of t-shirt underneath your shirt. Two, three, you're working two, three layers, baby. It's getting to that season where we're layering up. If you're not layering up, layer up, all right? Especially if you're, you know, if you're, if you're walking around with minimal body fats, my heart goes out because I feel you do. With the minimal body fats, the heat disappears quickly. You got a little bit of fat. You got a little bit of that cushion, baby. That's good. That's good. That'll keep you warm. But if you're, you know, if you're that slim fit, if you're that slim fit fella, if you're that slim fit lady, you know, lay her up. Cause I'm a violin boy. Why always gotta talk about things that are making people like, yeah, yeah. Why you gotta, you know, talk about, I'll talk about whatever I want to talk about, baby. And you come, well, talk about whatever we want to talk about here there's nothing that we will not talk about here on other shows on other platforms and you know different people different aliens different you know half man half bots they can talk about whatever they want to talk about you can support them too but you know here we talk about everything garment inadequacies we'll talk about it baby we'll talk we'll talk about everything we'll get in there with the jokes too one day we'll just walk in Go in there with the jackhammer of jokes, just <laughs> jokes all day. Cause I'm a violin boy. Can't help myself. Cause I feel like we're pressure cooking right now, baby. We're in that pressure cooker right now. You feel me? You feel me out there, man. The regular people feel me, y'all. Regular, everyday, good humans who are out there. Facing the elements, you know, facing a couple of elephants out there, elephants with elements, baby. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Because out there, it's let's not kid ourselves, all right? Let's not kid ourselves. Our governments globally, 
you know, man, who feels a little bit restricted? I'll tell you that, man, straight up. I'll feel a little bit restricted all day, every day up in this bitch. Can't do much. But, you know, we, we make do with what we've got. And they're like, don't bring excuses. We don't bring any excuses to this day. Well, no, none of these excuses. Got to work hard. Got to put in the extra work. Got to work hard in order to get ahead in life. And good, like, solid advice. Solid advice. Work hard. You know, no one's heard that before. You got to work hard, champ. You got to just work hard. Working hard's very essential, yes. Yes. But sometimes you feel like your government's just like colluding with big corporation. You know, whether it's with big tech, big pharma. I'm not talking about like large farmers, dude. I'm talking about big pharma. Just, you know. With the oil industry, big pharma, oil industry, tech, big tech, big oil, big pharma. Sometimes you as an individual, whatever you want to do, you feel a little bit restricted. I know like here, it's just like, are we, you know, it feels like, you know, I don't know, I've been keeping myself very cool, calm, and collected, just like many of you beautiful people out there, you beautiful, gorgeous sons and, you know, you sons of bitches. Daughters of bitches, sons and daughters of bitches, you feel me, you beautiful motherfuckers out there doing it every day, bringing the heat. You don't take any chances, you know, you take chances, but you don't take, you don't bring excuses with the chances. You go out there and you get it. But I feel like sometimes there's just like, you know, are we, you know, in Canada, are we ever going to get rid of these mandates? Are small businesses ever going to get a, you know, a little bit of a boost, a little bit of a, a helping hand? I don't know. Not even a helping hand. Just have what, what, what? Just like you know, let let people decide what they want to do with their business, and that's what it is, man. It's just being perpetuated, and I don't know when it's gonna stop. I'm sick and tired of even mentioning it every once in a while. But it's just like if we don't talk, if we and I don't talk, well, you can bet your bottom dollar, or City TV in Canada is not gonna, you know, the CBC's not gonna talk about it. City TV's not going to talk about it. Your, you know, down in the U.S., your Fox and CNN aren't going to talk about it. In Europe's in the United Kingdom, your BBC's not going to talk about it because as you read the headlines, you read the articles, and everything's just like what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Just pushing people, pinching people, squeezing people, pinching, squeezing, pushing. And yeah, I don't know. And then uh, at the end of the day, you got to like do so many different things. And right now we're talking about like, you know, a lot of issues and everything's interconnected. They're like, stay, stay on one, stay on one thing. Who's they? I don't fuck they. Fuck they them. I don't listen to they and them. I listen to you guys. The feedback we will we'll listen together. Try to make sense of this. But they'll, you know, they'll narrow it down. You narrow it down. You stick to a lane. Multiple lanes. This is a multiple lane highway, baby. Switching lanes, signal when you're switching. I'm not a mind reader. God. That's what it is, man. They want you to just be like, ah, stick to any topic. We'll stick to topics, baby. And when time comes to, you know, detach from topics and divert and go into another topic, we'll get in there. We'll get in there. But that's what it is, man. I, right now, it's like part of me really wishes that I had the, you know, maybe the means to move and just go somewhere else and just within Canada it's more or less the same so that's not even like I'm not looking to move anywhere within Canada right now but at the same time I'm just like man I wish there was a part of you know a little bit of common sense where we can be like okay whoever wants to go get vaccinated you should have the right to go get vaccinated who doesn't want to go whoever doesn't want to go get vaccinated what happened to bodily autonomy what happened to you know just my body my choice what happened to my body my choice what happened to not coercing people not you know, marginalizing people, ostracizing people. What happened to that? It's just like push, 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 push. And you never hear from the opposite side. And that's what it is. It's just, you. That's, I've lost so much faith. I, I, it's been a long time ever since I was in high school, going into university later. I never really believed in the, you know, large corporate media outlets to tell me what's what. You, you'll read something, but you'll have to decipher it for yourself. It's it's a whole bunch of, you know, we're all playing, you know, Blue's Clues here, baby, with the news. 
It's Blue's Clues News, baby. That's what it is. I'm a little bit, yeah, I'm a little bit, you know, because I want to get up there and, like, be able to go to a few different spots. And, like, so many comedy clubs, so many coffee shops, so many bars or restaurants have closed down during this ridiculous nonsense that we created for ourselves. Well, we didn't create it, right? Again, the colluding with the, you know, you got you, you pay government officials. Go do, go do, you know, gain a function research. Do it abroad. Get everybody involved. Who did it? We don't know, but we do know, but we can't, you know, and that's what it is. Like, is anybody going to be held accountable? Is anybody, or is it just the regular people that you got to just, you know, show it up and take home for the team? How about the governments taking one for the team? You know, I'll, I'll read articles. It's like, you know, you got inflation that you're dealing with. You got loss of jobs. You got a hyperinflated stock market and global housing market because everybody's just like panicking all day every day for many many a decades now but everybody's low-key everybody like get a little bit of money put it into the housing it'll triple it'll double if not triple baby property's the safest asset it's not a depreciating asset it's the safest asset is what you're you know you heard your real estate agent tell you you'll hear your bank tell you you'll hear everybody and that's the thing if it was made a little bit you know if it was a fair game you know, we were playing a different story but it's just like you're making two three grand a month and you're barely you know you're barely just hanging on you're just paying your bills you're just you know you're you're stuck there i feel you dude i feel you making a little bit more but then you got an extra cost that comes up this that's called life it is so difficult to just be able to you know save up a little bit and that's what it is, man. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to keep rolling. We're not going to give up. We're never going to fucking give up. Daddy, you feel me, mama? We're never going to give up. Going to continue chasing dreams and butterflies and rainbows. You know what the deal is with rainbows, baby. You, you go start chasing rainbows, next thing you know. You know, pot of, pot of gold, baby. Not a pot of gold. You'll find a damn leprechaun, daddy. You'll find a damn leprechaun. You're not so lonely after all, you know? Things are getting a little bit, you know, you feel a little bit isolated. Chase a rainbow. Chase, chase, chase the rainbow. But that's what that is, man. We're just, you know, I don't know, in five, six months in spring, this year, this 2021 is... Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens in 2022, baby, but the way things are moving, I'm Mr. Optimistic. I'm Mr. Optimistic, glass half full, refill it. Who needs a drink? Who needs a top off? Let me top you off, baby, because I'm that good. I like to be a good host. You're running low on beverages. Little milk for you. Little wino for you. Little, you know, sodi pop for you. Little, you know, little fizzy, little bubbly in your water vitamins do it well if you're thirsty i'm here for you i'm that virtual bartender serving all the drinks that's what it is man it's medicine man don't you know that's the thing I, I'm, I'm that person that's always feeling between you know you know between uh between uh soft spot and a hard spot and a firm spot and then a soft spot but non I'm in the middle right I feel the pressure I feel the pressure like a lot of you guys a hard spot and a rock and then soft spots in the periphery on the outside but inside also very very squishy and you know soft in the middle in the center but that's the thing you feel it's, it's the times that we got to talk about everything you know that's the thing i feel a little bit torn at times talking about certain things because i'm very appreciative for a lot of things that i do have i'm not here now being appreciative for me not that you know but it's just like a little bit of a little bit of the give and take right a little bit of the give and take it's just it feels like it's just been give 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 from the average folk perspective anyway people on the streets not talking about your fancy schmancy you know bougie peepsies that do bougie things that be all you know 
in a bubble, not affected by. And that's good because I don't want you to go through hardships. I want you to, but that's the thing they say, hard times makes hard men. You want to get hard, find yourself a hard spot to walk on, daddy. You want to get hard, you feel me? You want to get hard, go do a little bit of, you know, street hiking. Go do a little bit of that mountain climate, start getting hard. But at the same time, you know, it depends what kind of hard we're talking about. But like, you know, so who, you know, if I could like sometimes soft circumstances make the hardest men and women. Case in point, talking Brazil, Brazilians. Who makes the best soccer players in the world? Brazil. Why? A sand. A beach in the sand. Sand on the beach. Sand beach. Fucking beach sand. You're running on soft surfaces. All of a sudden, those caps, the butt muscles that everybody's now, you know, for the past many, many years, the decade or all, you know, decade and five years. Everybody, ladies, got the Brazilian butt lift. Everybody's obsessed with working on the quads and the get your ass. I can get that big, get the calves with the big ass. Who's got the biggest bucket? Fucking giant ass. That's for the ladies and then the guys, great soccer players. So it pays dividends to, you know, be surrounded sometimes by softness too. What I'm saying, uh, you know, just follow the follow the rabbit, baby. Follow the white rabbit down the rabbit hole. To connect the dots. Keep asking the questions. Don't take what they just feed you, because they'll just feed you, dude. They will just put in their little, you know, the, the spoon or the spatula. They'll put that spatula in that bullshit gombo sometimes, and they'll just stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Yeah. Spoon for you, spoon for you, spoon for you, and you're like, oh, I'm kind of allergic, spoon for you. Take one for the team. Unless there is some sort of a, you know, that's the thing, unless the, unless we programmed this already in the, you know, maybe the shadowy governments. Maybe the, I don't know what goes on in the backgrounds. I barely know what's going on in the foregrounds, dog. But maybe the shadowy governments ran simulations on AI programs. They put an AI programmed it, put another AI programmed it, and they're like, ask each other all the questions. Or AI is just for like 24, 72, 48 hours, nonstop, just asking each other fucking questions. Just fucking question, 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 until they come up with all the answers. They ran it over, and then we figure, like, we, we figure a lot of things. But that's the thing, change is hard. Change is hard. So many issues, you know? We gotta, we gotta change as a species, we gotta change as individuals, we gotta, you gotta be the change in the world, daddy, mama, moms and dads, papa. We're not here about, we're not gonna talk about your daddy issues today. Yeah, it's about the people. Uh, I had a couple of, you know, the last couple of nights I've, I've dreamt and uh, been seeing Papa for some reason. It's uh, no talking, just, you know, short little interactions. That's the little wee little daddy. It, you know, just put it in there, a little comment. Yeah. What does it all mean? Good times, but, uh, you know, there's so many things that you got to tackle and, like, we got to get everybody somewhat on the... The AIs went to discussion. They went. They went and discussed. There was a discussion sesh. Like there was a discussion sesh. Solid sesh. Discussing, asking questions. How will it end? Where will it go? Will it end? Will we merge? What's going to happen? And then they ran the numbers. And then they ran the number. That's the thing. We, 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 we wicked, 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 wicked. We look at. AI's answers, but that's the thing. They're not AI's that are like, we don't have, and I don't like the term organic or natural that much because it gets, it's a misconception, right? And what's organic and natural is not been tampered with. Eh, wrong. There is no such thing. Everything's always evolving and merging and just like, you know, everything's connected. It's all one 
or different, but all the same. So, you know, what's natural, what's organic, a little bit, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit of that case of just, you know, overrated, dude, it's overrated, what's natural, what's organic, you know, but what is? Point is that they ran the algorithms and the AIs and we, because we program them, right? We program, we write the programs. There's a little bit of human bias going into the programs and the machines, right? That's why you're like, man, I, I, I wish these bots really knew me well, but it seems like they just want to be selling me shit all the time. Just to get into your head and then, but that's the thing, they advanced it, they ran it up, they ran it to the last level. What's last level? There's different variant forms and discussions about this. What's, where's humanity going? What's going to happen? Are we evolving, changing? Yes, of course. Or are we evolving and changing too? What are our fears? What are we trying to get rid of? What are we trying to incorporate more of? Want more joy, happiness, bliss, less rape, murder, madness in society. Control yourselves. So the AI went to the, you know, went to the safe spot. They're like, what are aliens? I'm not the first one to say this, but I'm just like, let's, they're like aliens, no sex, no genitals, just big heads, tiny little bodies, big hands, tiny little bodies, big heads, tiny little bodies, big heads, big heads, big heads, tiny little bodies, kind of like, uh, the octopi, we've said this before, that's the fucking alien right there, baby, got regeneration down, fucking poke it, Magic ink. Where'd he go? Find the ink. Oh, not there. The fucking magical, majestic animals out there. Aliens. But the program got run, dude. Program was out there running. Program was out there fucking. Bolt in it. We say bolt in it to the finish line. And then. They're like, yeah, we gotta get rid of the channels. Gotta slim down the bots. Just need the heads. Just the computer, you know, the, just the cognitive portion of it. The rest is just, just the system to keep it functioning. And hence, we can, you know, there's multiple variants to this ending. We could get pickled, dude. Pickle heads with fucking <laughs> barely any fucking limbs left. Which made me have a little bit of a you know, it was a little, I, I walked into a little bit of a dilemma, if you will, within myself. Because I've always, ever since I was young, I'd walk around with a part of me that just, you know, a uh, part of me just, you know, I see a person on the street sees my heart goes out. Can't help him all every once in a while. Sure, he got a little loose change once in a while, not too much, because everybody's on a tight budget. Somebody asks you for a loose dart. If you got a loose dart, yeah, well, you know, once in a while, not all the time, because even, you know, everything, we're on that, it's ration time, baby, things are, you know, it's not, the war has shifted, baby, the war is no longer, it's, we're not at war, but we, did it ever end, is it, you know, things are good, things are good, change is good, change is, but this is a good thing, this is a good thing, because if it hurts, it means we're growing, God, so much pain. I always, you know, I, your heart goes out, you always see a person on the street and you're like, man, these guys just like, oh, yeah. yes, they don't conform to the regular things, you and I, and I'm no fucking conformist, baby, I'll fucking, I'll go the, I'll, I'm that salmon, baby, upstream all day, I'm that, I'm the opposite of the path of the grain, dog, I'll, if it's zigging, we'll zag, daddy. If it's zagging, we'll zig. And has it paid off all day, every day, for all my life? And dividends. Yeah, bet your bottom dollar. It's fucking paid off. It's, yeah. And it's continuing to pay off. Fucking continue, you gotta believe. And also just keep going. One step forward. Make it better. Don't be stuck in the past. Don't be. Caught up in the future, fucking present times. There's always a gift in the present. <laughs> but 
part of me always thought, man, maybe these bums on the street, maybe they've got to figure it out. Because they're not after, you know, they're not after commodities. They're not after the sex. Well, maybe if it's offered to them, but like, you know, they're just there. Can I grab a bite? Can I get a loose dart? Can I get a... But that's the thing. It's, uh, it's fine because, you know, we don't like to, you know, fucking survival of the fittest all day, every day. Not everybody should be breeding out there. Not everybody should just be having babies all willy-nilly. You are responsible sons and daughters of bitches. Yeah, solid. Most of you guys are good, but some people shouldn't be breeding out there. Because those are the, you know, those are the loose straws. Those are, those, those are the weak links. And I don't believe in free handouts. I don't believe in free handouts. But... Maybe they had it all figured out because at the end of the day, we ran the AI and the AIs are like, you know what, you guys, as long as we can like, you know, maintain the ads, exchange the thoughts, just exchange thoughts. That's all you're getting. Exchange thoughts, remove the physicality, going up, going at, going on, you know, do you do, go, go fucking, you know, go intergalactic, virtually, emotionally, spiritually. And I don't know which is better or worse, but like, you know, it's, there's certain things that feel like we're, oh, are we going to lose that human aspect, that animal touch contact aspect? Are we going to lose a little bit of that humanity? Probably a little bit. Yeah, probably. It feels a little bit. The connections already feel a little bit, you know, let's not kid ourselves. Again, different parts of the world doing things differently here in Canada. It's been, you know, weird times. Unless you comply. Unless you're complying and you do things for the greater good. Aha, uh -huh. greater good. Unless you're complying all day, every day, you know. Did no problem. It's the best of times. If you just, you know. And I'm not saying peepsies are, you know, people, you got to do what you got to do. Got to do what you got to do, but that's what it is, man. I feel like, you know, when are we going to be like, okay, enough of this nonsense, enough of these restrictions, enough of these, because that's the thing. I wish I could just locally go up there because like, boys got, you know, a lot of energy, a lot of things that he wants to do. And there's a lot of hard work to be done. Don't get me, you know, don't get it twisted. There's always a, you know, I'm just all about that balance, baby. In my own weird way, you know? Maybe not balanced in your perspective, maybe not balanced in a conventional way, but balanced nonetheless. I wish there was comedy spots open that I could just locally be like, hey man, during this time I can, because I'm an organized person, I'll fucking get organized, doggy. Get organized, do this, do that. Go try on two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever. Be with people who are doing the same thing. We're going through it. Start being part of the community. Commute to the community. Get that communal action going a little bit. And I'm sure there's tons of you out there. It's just we've not had a chance to interact. It's just, you know, that's the thing, man. That's, the, that's that government overreach, baby. That's that government overreach. Going in there, just fucking with, you know, dirty palms all over your business. Get your palms out of my business. That's what it is, man. I wonder, I'm a little bit concerned. This is where, this is, this is where it's coming from. I'm a little bit concerned about the future of Canada. And future of our people in whatever world you're you know whatever realm you're trying to navigate I'm a little bit if you're a small business owner I'm a little bit concerned for you sir ma'am if you're a young university student I feel you if you're you know a working professional you've lost your job due to many different aspects of the Shmovid, I feel you, but we'll get through this, but I wonder what it will take for us to get through this, 
So I'm no, you know, wee dog. I'm no, you know. I'm a lover, baby. I'm a lover, not a fighter. But we, we fight with love. We'll fight with love. But I wonder what it will do to the many generations that are growing up. And this has been the norm for them, for them to be so, you know, just easy going, just, you know, conforming, just, you know, putting on the masks, getting the jabs, not questioning things. Maybe, and that's the thing, this is the propaganda aspect of the media, because you won't hear too much of it. You'll hear maybe a couple of independents that walk the streets, that, well, you know, you got that, but that's what I look forward to nowadays, as if you want a little bit of a glimpse, at least into the other side, and that's, I take everything with a grain of salt, right, but if you want a little bit of a different you got to go to independence. You have to go to independence. Again, I've never, since I was really young, never really believed in taking whatever the corporate media outlets are just, you know, they'll, they'll, because they're in cahoots, baby. Big corporate you know, media is a big business. Sell you stories, get your attention, make sure it's clickbait. And they're in business with, again, big tech, big pharma, big oil, big business. Richer people during this time have gotten richer and the poor have gotten poorer. That's just reality, dude. And everybody's trying out there. Everybody's trying. Everybody's trying. You gotta come in there with the jokes. We'll get in there with the jokes. This was a mixed bag. A little bit of seriousness, a little bit of, but that's the thing. We deal with it on a daily. I don't, you know, I don't have a particular agenda. No, I'm just trying to make do with what I've got and portion of it is just working on different things but there's always you know I'm not I don't really want to be no I don't even you know what I'm not even gonna put a label on it or anything I'm, I'm doing me baby I'm doing me this is my way of doing things there is no and everybody out there whoever's doing it thank you very much for you know there's so many different people so many different levels and at the end of the day, man, ever since I was young, I knew you had to, you know, I learned this from an early age that you got to do things your way. There is no, don't listen, especially if somebody, you know, you'll listen to people who will come down and be like, oh, if you're doing it this way, just, you know, might as well know. Or if you're doing it that way, nobody is walking in your path. Nobody is walking actually within, you know, your shoe. Unless somebody, unless you're lending shoes, dog. Unless you're just, you know, you got a little bit of, and that's the thing, you'll read it in the newspaper, there's a lack of jobs, they'll make up bullshit jobs. Oh, landing clothing, this, this, this 24 year old's got four side gigs and she's making 10 grand renting her shit. Bullshit. There are good things happening as well. It's hard to find them, but it's, out there, the regular good people out there doing many things that are, you know, just, my heart goes out though, my heart goes out because I feel like I'm in it with you guys, that's what it is, this is, I'm not some sort of, uh, I'm not backed by anything, I'm not, you know, this is a one man band, it's a one man operation, I hope to grow it and add aspects to it, but I'm not going to be like, I'll listen to everybody and I support everybody because that's just the way I've been, you know, that's the way my parents raised me when I was younger, that's the type of person that I am innately, dude, I'm not, you know, I, I get happy whenever people, like, when life's handing you those aces or things are working out, I get happy for people, dude, I don't got no, you know, no, no jelly here, dog, unless we're talking peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, and that's a different story, but everybody, I get happy for people whenever they make it out of a circumstance or a a little bit of a struggle sesh or a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of that, you know, you, your life's, you know, trying to get you bamboozled, daddy, you figure it out, you'll figure it out, you'll just, uh, I get happy for people, but at the same time, I do want there to be a little bit, you know, because you'll read articles and different things, you know, oh, they're, they're creating a committee in Ontario to, to take a look at why and how housing market so on affordable we're, we're gonna we're gonna create a little group to figure out what, what are we gonna do about it and like it's just like it's it's super inflation it's super inflation it's uh, I don't think you need a committee or I don't think you need a you know but then again you know you got to create fake jobs out there too so somebody's got to you know just keep on write your name pass it along come to a meeting 
what happened to the bots serving us, man? So can we get some like normal humans programming these bots? Because it just seems like not only are they like here, but we're now competing with them in many aspects. You know, so I don't, I don't feel the assistance. I don't feel the assistance. Not yet, anyway, dude. Not yet. I wonder when I'll feel assisted. But I'm not about assistance either, dude. I'm, I'm all about to pull yourself up and elevate others as well. It's weird times out there, baby. Talked about so many different things, but what I was trying to say is that maybe, you know, ultimately, maybe the bumps have it figured out, man. Just lay low, stay zen, be minimalist. Because that's the future. Essentially, you're like the ultimate minimalist. You have minimal things, barely have a body. You don't necessarily have any, oh, that's what it is, man. We'll be, that's what it'll just, again, Pickled people, man, I'm telling you. Just, you know, floating heads. And I don't know what, to, but that's the thing. It's always got to be like, what are we going to be uh, at that point? What are we going to consume and produce? I guess just fucking information, huh? Just information, dude. That's the age of the few. Like, it already is. And like, it's, but that's the same when we like fully, when they, when, when, when the Neuralink gets in you. And. And everything's on the blockchain we're just going to be exchanging info for currency for the, the sake of it for the sake of it because that, that, that will be fulfilling 100% you'll, you'll feel satisfied once everything's removed once the human once the humanity is removed once we clip pieces off stick pieces on You'll feel, you'll feel good. It's kind of like a lobotomy, you know? Nice little zap to the brain. Don't you feel good? Just fucking drooling. But that's all right, because everybody's drooling these days. That's all right. You don't need to worry about how you look, baby. No worries. It's all good. Everybody is drooling city out there. Fucking puddles of water. Which is good, because we'll be pickled people. We'll be filling up on our own drool. And I wonder what it takes to maybe not get there. And I don't think that it will get there, but there's, you know, it's the hints. It's the little, it's the peppering in of the, it's the dystopic aspects that just get peppered in a little bit. Oh, mandates. You're not essential if we tell you you're not. We'll close your business down whenever we feel like it. We'll tell you what you'll put in your body and your kid's body. You know, we'll put chemicals in all the products. Everywhere. The water's got everything in it from, you know, everything. From foods. So that's the thing. I think we should just, you know, go back to the basics a little bit. Go back to the basics a little bit. I wish everybody had a little bit of access to, you know, I wish everybody was like a little bit more independent in terms of having access to a little portion of land, get in touch with earth a little bit maybe you know you know not everybody needs massive pieces of just a little tiny piece of land that you could grow your own produce on then you can, then you can become you know have little communities and every community could do that oh you want carrots fucking billy's got carrots baby what, what you working with you got that parsley fucking how fun would that be dog maybe i'm romanticizing things that i've never experienced but fucking medieval stories sometimes just a little fucking castle with a Build a nice castle with the city and then make the city run really well, but then there's always outsiders, fucking aliens. Moats, baby, fucking alligators and moats. We've said it before, bring it back. I'm tired of seeing alligators not being put to good use. Put a couple of fucking alligators, dog. The US. Y'all are like, you're on the right path. If you want to build one, nobody's ever done this. No, but I'm not I'm not even a big fan, but sometimes we're the joke of shit, you know. Fucking build a wall, moat that shit, dog. And you got alligators imported from fucking Florida, baby. Fill it up. And then can we buy some off of you? Do we have Canada? Do we have our own alligators? Or are we just working with beavers, dog? We'll get it. We'll fucking, we'll get in there with beavers, dude. We'll fucking moat it. Wall. Yeah, I can't get in. Beavers will fuck you up if you cross the line, baby. Don't underestimate the beavers. Oh, I'll throw in a couple of moose and Canada geese and ganders up there as well. I'll, I'll gather all the animals, baby. 
play a little flute while we're marching now. What's that behind you? It's a goose and a gander. You know? Fucking bird feces all over you. <gasps> Unsanitary. But also, it's like... The CO2 is in the, the, the emissions. You can't eat cows anymore. So it's like, let's start licking bird feces. It's the ultimate vegetarian. It's just like, that's it. Fuck, dude, is that what Matrix food is? Bird feces, dog? Or are you feeding me bird feces? <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Solid times. Everything's fine. Don't panic. I don't want you to panic, okay? Everything's fine. If you're complying and you don't question things and you just say yes then everything is a-okay but you know if you happen to question things if you happen to have an opinion if you happen to you know want to do something a little bit different there might be a couple of obstacles might be a couple of you know road bumps might be a few rusty nails on the road. There might be a little bit of broken glass along the way. You might puncture a tire. That's the case of the flat tire, no big deal. We'll fucking pull over, put it on a jack, get on there, go. And you're like, I don't know no jacks. That's fine. When the time's right, you'll you'll know a jack when the time's right. You know, sometimes you work with the jack, you gotta work with the queen. Jack and the queen go hand in hand sometimes. Just saying. Just saying. Boys and girls. Boys and girls, I'm a violin boy. Cause I'm a violin boy. Violin, baby. Violin. Getting it. But I want, yeah, man, that's the thing. We need to be, Canada's become very, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned because I just feel like our policies, our policy makers are, I've been, I've been growing up experiencing it. It's, I feel like we're going down a path of just like, you know, creating a CAC society, a bunch of, you know, uh, in school. Just agree, just say yes, just agree. Follow the path that's already carved out. And then the workforce, just follow the path that's carved out. And a lot of, you know, a lot of, I don't know what to call it. The policy of, you know, and I am, uh, is it, you know, I feel like we're really like, we're, we're, we've gotten too woke here in Canada. We've gotten, that's the only thing that I can, I don't like that term, but that's the only thing I can, we've gotten too woke, we've gotten too, too, I don't know, at the same time, I do see people out there trying, I'm trying, you're trying out there, it's not like it's, so I wonder if we've, got, we've either become a cock society or our government's really good at keeping things tight, neat and tight. And it's, and our government's like, you know, uh, I'm appreciative of a lot of things, not to just, but that's, uh, there's, a, there's been a, it's, it's, times are, times are, you know, it's, it's, uh, it feels weird, because if you talk about anything, I'm just gonna talk about everything that I, you know what, that's what it is, man. If you thank you for all the love and support for everybody who's been with me from day one, you know what it is, baby. For you guys, if you're a newbie coming into the show, we talk about everything and nothing. We keep it most of the time silly willy up in this bitch. And then we talk about everyday life. What's impacting me, what's impacting you. And I hope to one day just grow this and make it bigger and add other components to it. Other than that, I have no apologies. I have no uh, remorse or any sort of like yeah, that's what it is. This is just as honest as it gets, uninterrupted, raw, no agenda, no producer, no, just one guy 
coming in trying to take everything and there's many other people there's a lot of ladies and gentlemen out there who are doing it fucking gangsters out there you feel me my my peoples and doing it in different forms man there's people all across the globe little by little and this is again thank you because this feels like a little bit of, in, in the midst of all this nonsense at, at least we've been able to do something for ourselves i do see a lot of people going out there independently doing a lot and like it's so nice to see people all across the globe doing independent things whether you're a business owner whether you're a parent whether you're a wh whatever it is like you're just a person like independently kicking butt taking names on a daily you're a fucking g you know who you are i love you thank you for all the love and support if you like these videos go and hit those like buttons on instagram follow me on instagram it does help the algorithms the algorithm overlords they will appreciate it and uh, also go on youtube search rob sadry for the full-length videos every week we're here monday wednesday and friday baby monday wednesday and friday and if you want to get a little bit of that fiscal action going on because you're manipulating the market, you're that whale. Just fucking, you're that pumping whale. You're fucking, uh, 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 pumping whale, baby. You're pumping, it's going up. Fucking give back a little bit. Trickle, trickle. Let's get rid of the trickle down effect. Let's, that's all I'm trying to say. That's all I'm trying to say. No fucking freebies, but also... You know, when, you know, that's the thing, dude. You know what? Just go reverse these on this fucking bitch. Just go fucking reverse. Let's, you know, I'm tired of this. Let's tax the poor, save the rich, dude. Tax the poor, save the rich. Enough of this, you know, if you're making 24 to 50 grand a year, I had enough of you. We're going to tax you more. And if you're making millions, I, I want you to feel safe and secure and we will find loopholes we will get you some lawyers you'll get you yourself some lawyers you'll get yourself a couple of accountants and I want you to feel safe and secure we're gonna create some shell companies and we're gonna go overseas and we're gonna make everything work for you whether it's electronic on the blockchain or the cat like whatever if you're a millionaire and things are super well it's only gonna get better and we're just gonna know oh, what it is baby fuck these walking okay. Walk the radio, but yeah, tax the poor. That makes more sense because it's hard to tax the rich, guy. Like, it's hard to, let's be honest. Let's be honest. It's all, you know, it's easy. Fucking okay, tax the poor. That's all I'm saying, baby. Just think outside the box. Connect the dots. I'll talk to y'all very soon. Peace out.